truth, man. What is the truth? The truth is that which everybody else is not. They live in the sick and perverse generation of society. Proverbs 31, 30. Proverbs 11, 31. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Check that out. The righteous is going to be recompensed in the earth. Come on. Much more the wicked in the center. Much more than the wicked in the center. Because everything is going to be converted over to the righteous, man. The kings of the Gentiles are going to come to us, man. We heard the most times we you. We're going to serve him like you serve Because it's not about money on the side. You don't see nothing says send tides here. You don't see no buckets. Get a stand over there on the ground. I'll make sure they don't see no, no money buckets, no water buckets for tides. There's none of that over here. None of that over here. So we're not looking about money. We have several people come up here and try to, how can I give donations? We have that. We're not about that. We don't want to hinder the gospel. For no, for no, at, at, at all. We don't want to hinder the gospel. We just want to put it out. Come on. Okay. Romans 11 and 22. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of the Most High. Right. So behold the goodness and severity of the Most High. Because if the righteous spirit would say, where should a sinner and the evil door appear? So behold the goodness and severity of the Most High. Read it. Romans 11 and 22. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the Most High. Uh -huh. On them which fell, severity. On them which fell. On them which fell, severity, man. Because trouble was, trouble was coming. Fire and brimstone is coming. And you ain't right. Your head ain't, ain't, ain't nowhere. Your head is just everywhere. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. You're up here. You're up there. You're there. You don't know what to agree on. You don't know what to lock down. You have no ground. No ground. Foundation. You're just in the world. So behold, goodness and severity on them. They fear the most high. Romans 11 and 22. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the most high. Uh -huh. On them which fell severity. Uh -huh. But towards thee, goodness. But yeah. Towards thee, goodness. Those that obey this word. In every shape, form, and fashion. Those that obey this word. Come on. But towards thee, goodness, uh -huh. if thou continue in his goodness. If thou continue in his goodness. So we see that there are some brothers and sisters that start on a good foot. But they get tripped up by some cat coming out, pumping some new doctor. And twist them up. Win their soul. And cast them off to the fire. Make them fit for the fire. So the Lord put it, if did. If thou continue. If thou continue, you have to continue. Don't get caught up. Don't get don't get weary in well doing. And look for some new rejuvenation that's gonna re spark your spirit. But it sparks your spirit on a wicked set. It sparks your spirit on a wicked set. Otherwise, thou also shalt be cut off. Otherwise, thou also shalt be cut off. Who is this talking to? The Gentile. Yes. Those that come into this vibration. So we see that there's some that's going to start out in the race and they're going to be sincere. But they can get tripped up. They can get big headed. Hello. They can get big headed and start thinking that it's about them. The Lord said, don't do that. Stay humble. Stay low key. Stay meek. And follow my people. Run with them. Run with them. Leave off that. Come back to the First Peter. First Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the unpowerly of the sinner appear? Uh -huh. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High. Stop. Let's go back to that 18, right? Give me that John, St. John 5. Right. Read that 18 again. First Peter 4, 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the unpowerly and the sinner appear? Praise the Lord. So if the righteous scarcely be saved, we understand that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But the problem is nobody got the time. When it's gonna happen, so everybody just walk through their own thing. St. John 5 28. Marvel not at this. The hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Uh -huh. It shall come forth. That they have they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Right. So it's gonna happen. 
It's going to happen. Nobody's going to escape it. Whatever you did in the earth, you're going to reap the reward of that. So those that have done good are to the resurrection of life. But those that have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. Give me that Psalm 31, 14, and 37. 31, 13? 31, 14. Psalms 31 and 14. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my power. Uh -huh. My times are at thy hand. Right. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy. Who is my enemy? It could be Jew or Gentile. Because I'm up here professing this word, and I get some Jew that's going to say, oh, that nigga don't know what he's talking about. Oh, that nigga is wicked. Oh, this, this, that, that. That's my enemy now. Why is he my enemy? He's my enemy for this word. He's not my enemy because I did anything personal to him. He's my enemy because of this word. That's a Jew. That's my own brother. He's looking to take my life. He's looking to take my life. It's our own brothers that did us wrong in Jerusalem in 70 AD. It's our own brother's hand that was turned against us. It wasn't the Gentiles. They came in after the fact. It was our own leaders that did that. The madness that committed that madness in Jerusalem in 70 AD. Because of wickedness, the Most High set us, uh, set us against each other. Because of wickedness. So what? Here in 2009, I shouldn't think it's going to be my own brother. That's my enemy. Yeah, it could be Jew or Gentile that's my own enemy. Come on. Psalms 31 and 15. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies. Uh -huh. And from them that persecute me. Come on. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. I'm not worried about views. How many views? As long as those that see me, you see the face of the Most High shining upon me. They see it. Oh, that's their brother. Oh, you see how he dealt with that? They may never say nothing. But they watch my action. They see how I dealt. According to the word of the Most High. They say, that's right. That's right. So, views don't mean nothing to me. It's my work to put it out there. Most High said, put it out there. Cast our bread upon the waters. Put it out there. We're not going to switch up our flow. We'll eat. I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to see what would happen if we did come out here with a bunch of signs saying Esau is going to die, big nuclear bombs burning, put a picture of um, Cesar Bogey on the ground and everybody stomp on us. Put a, you think we get a reaction? You think we get a better reaction? You think we get better views if we start calling our sisters bitches and whores? Excuse me, brother. You think we get a better view? Better views? Bigger numbers? We're going to pump it up with the village and shut us down. Huh? They just shut us down. Why? Because we fainted. Because we fainted. We received this ministry. Ministry of